If a German shepherd made friends with a wolf and you saw them standing together as though conversing, you would think they were dogs of the same breed. But that's only true when you focus on particular physical features like the long muzzle and erect ears. And so you ask, what's the difference between a German shepherd and a wolf? Let's dive into a host of differences in this video. Number 1. Size. Wolves have a larger build, both in their height and weight. Females tend to be smaller for both species, especially when it comes to weight. According to Wolfhaven International, the heaviest male German Shepherd will be about the size of the heaviest female gray wolf. Similarly, the tallest male German Shepherd is around the average height of a male or female gray wolf. Number 2. Physical Features Although the German Shepherd and the wolf have the same teeth, 42, the wolf has a stronger and larger skull and jaw. The wolf's bite force is around 400 psi while the German Shepherd's bite strength ranges around 238 and 400 psi. The German Shepherd's head mimics the wedge shape of a wolf's head but is narrower. Both the German Shepherd and the wolf have long muzzles. However, the wolf's muzzle stands out in its proportional size, equal to that of its skull. The German Shepherd compared to the wolf has long and diagonally angled shoulder blades while the wolf's shoulders are well angled and close together. A wolf's legs are straight, both at the fore and hind. Instead, the German Shepherd has straight legs at the fore and crouching legs at the rear. Both the German Shepherd and the wolf have double coats. Number 3. Running Speed A wolf can run 6 miles per hour on average. But this speed can increase up to 43 miles per hour when in a chase. In contrast, the German Shepherd's maximum running speed in a chase is 30 miles per hour. Number 4. Attachment to humans. Living among humans has not only made German Shepherds dependent on humans for their survival, but they're also attached to humans in a friendly and loyal relationship, making them great pets. Instead, wild, undomesticated wolves have to fend for themselves and have retained their hunting survival skills. They don't need humans to feed or protect them from extreme weather or predators like hunting humans, bears, and Siberian tigers. Number 5. Tractability. Dogs aren't only trainable, but they're also tractable. That means you can easily control, direct, and handle a German Shepherd and have them obey verbal and gesture commands with ease. Not so with the wolf. Even though you can train a wolf, its tractability level remains a lot lower than that of a German Shepherd, or any dog for that matter. Number 6. Sexual Maturity. German Shepherds, like other dogs, mature quickly. However, while most dogs are sexually mature by 5 to 9 months, German Shepherds may go up to 2 years. But that is still faster than a wolf. Wolves don't reach sexual maturity before the age of 2, but it takes much longer for them to be ready to breed. Number 7. Breeding. While the gestation period of the gray wolf and the German Shepherd is around 63 days, the two canines have different breeding rhythms. German Shepherds can breed twice a year. Wolves only have one litter annually from January to April. While German Shepherds have an average litter size of 8 puppies and can go from 1 to 15, wolves have smaller litters of 5 pups on average. Also, wolves rear their pups as a family, with mother and father, while the German Shepherd mother takes care of the pups. Number 8. Courage. One of the key characteristics used to describe German Shepherds is that they're courageous. That's why they're seen in many high-risk situations, such as police operations and rescue missions. In comparison, wolves are more shy and fearful and won't attack humans under normal circumstances. In fact, they'll run away from a hunter who approaches their prey. Number 9. Diet. German Shepherds are omnivores. Because of domestication and the resulting adaptation, these canines, like other dogs, can process a variety of food types. Wolves are carnivores, mostly relying on raw meat for survival, although they may eat plant food once in a while. Unlike wolves, the German Shepherd's stomach poorly processes raw meat and food. Number 10. Strength. The German Shepherd isn't stronger than the wolf, considering that a wolf has a larger bodied build and weight and height and a more robust skull and jaw. When defending itself, 
A large wolf can bite down with over 1,200 psi compared to the GSD's 238 psi. Wolves will also be stronger than German shepherds if they act in packs, as is often the case. And, we have come to the end of video. Tell us how many differences you already knew between German shepherds and wolves in the comments section below. See you in the next video.